In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his last and beloved Master Muhammad, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. This is the fifth presentation in a series entitled The Sign in the Number 19, and it's entitled Communication Engineering from the Number 19. And I will show in this presentation how to produce an application in the field of communication engineering from pondering upon this great sign that Allah Almighty installed in the number 19. And in order for you to follow this lecture, I need to remind you of a few points I mentioned in my previous uh, lectures on this topic. Now, I said that Allah Almighty mentions the number 19 in the last revelation to people of the Quran as a, a response to those who accuse Prophet Muhammad that they accuse him that he wrote this book and Allah says that the person who believes that this Quran is from the work of man then Allah will place them into hellfire and Allah gives numerous descriptions for this hellfire and among its descriptions the one stated in chapter 74 verse 30 over it are 19 so Allah states here that this hell there will be 19 angels supervising the torment of people in this hellfire and Allah says that this number 19 will be a test for people meaning that when they see this great sign in 19 will they accept or reject Will they accept that the Quran is from Allah God or will that or will they reject this? And also Allah states regarding this sign in the number nineteen in chapter seventy four verse thirty five, verily it is one of the greatest signs. So Allah is telling us here that this sign in the number nineteen is one of the greatest signs of Allah. It's a great sign. And I said in the previous lectures and started saying about how can we understand this sign in the number 19 and I said that when, whenever Allah mentions one of his creation in the, in the Quran like the camel or the bees or the spider or the number 19 Allah wants us to ponder upon this creation and not just you know listening to words without pondering upon them so if we ponder upon the number 19 and the simplest way to think about it is that it is composed of 19 units so number 19 is the assembly or the addition of 19 units 1 plus 1 plus 1 until you get 19 and we went a step further and we represented number 19 in a geometrical form by assigning circles to these 19 units so we represent number 19 geometrically in a geometric sense by having 19 circles and the best way to arrange them is the shape you see on the screen this is the best geometrical shape to arrange the 19 circles and also I said that the way to decode this code in the number 19 so this geometrical uh, shape of the number 19 you can think of, a, of it as a code as a geometrical code Allah wants to tell us information from this so how to decode this code the, we can do this by going to the source, to the one who put this code, to go to, go to the source, Allah God Almighty. And we started learning some of the information that Allah wants to teach us from this code by putting upon the verses of the Quran. And I said that Allah is telling us the story of creation in this code. So such that you can think of a, about this uh, shape having three layers. The inner layer is composed of one circle which codes to Allah God Almighty that at the beginning of this, the creation of the heavens and the earth there was Allah and nothing was before him. Then Allah created the heavens and the earth in six days and this is coded for by the second layer, the one shown in blue, having six circles. Six days coded for by six circles. Then Allah created you and you live in this universe a number of years and this is coded for by the 12 circles in the third layer, the one shown in orange and the 12 circles represent the number of months in a year 
and you live a number of years in this universe. Now, in this presentation, I will concentrate on the first layer, the one in the center, which, as I said, codes for Allah God Almighty, the Creator, the one where nothing was before Him. And linking this to a verse in the Quran in chapter 24, verse 35, which reads, Allah God is the light of the heavens and the earth. So Allah, God is telling us that He's the light of the heavens and the earth. And linking this to the first circle, which codes for Allah God Almighty, so we learn that whenever you hear the word light, you start thinking about energy. So Allah God Almighty wants to teach us energy from this 19, uh, the shape of the number 19, its mechanics and how it propagates. And I showed this in a previous presentation, how, how can we learn energy from this 19 code and its mechanics. So now let's just remind you a little bit of how we can understand energy from this shape. So what we did is that I marked the centers of these circles, as you can see here, just marking the centers of the circles representing number 19. And from this, knowing that at the center of the shape we have an energy source, so Allah is teaching us here that energy is discrete, is quantized. So this, the, the light you see is not a continuous field, it's composed of small units, the assembly of them gives you the energy field. And in modern kind of physics, it's called photons. So we learn from this shape that energy is composed of photons, discrete kind of uh, quantized amount of energy. And I gave an example on, as you can see on the screen on the right, here we have a mapping of light and the yellow dots, they represent photons. And glory be to Allah, God Almighty, you see that the arrangement of these photons is an hexagonal design, exactly like the one shown in the number 19. Here is another um, picture of photons emanating from an energy source. And as you can see, they, ha they, they match the pattern of photon propagating from the center of the geometrical representation of the number 19. So, that was in the previous kind of presentations. Now to focus on the topic of this presentation, on how to um, devise practical applications in the field of communication engineering. Now, as an introduction to this, from what I said, we can learn that Allah is teaching us that the best way to arrange energy producing elements is to arrange them in a hexagonal design like the one you see on the screen. So if we think about the, uh, every red circle as an energy source, the best way to represent them is to arrange them in hexagonal design such that they will cover maximum area with minimum amount of energy and with a good or a very excellent signal strength. And if we take an example in the human body, on the right you see a cross section in the skeletal muscles, in your muscles, and you can see that Allah God Almighty arranged the energy producing elements in the muscles, the actin and the myosin, the one that when they, when they link together they produce the action of the muscle, Allah arranged them in a hexagonal design like the one you see on the screen. So the motors, let's say, in the muscles that they produce the action, Allah arranged them in a hexagonal design. So the question now, what does this have to do with communication engineering? Now, if we take one example in communication engineering, the mobile technology and the wireless communication. Now, on the left, you see a mobile transmission tower. Now, these towers are used to transmit the signals used to in mobile technology and wireless communication, establishing a field where you can talk anywhere in this field, energy field. Now, in communication engineering, there is a main requirement that we need to cover maximum area or maximum volume with minimum amount of energy, meaning with the minimum number of towers. And at the same time, we need to have an excellent in, uh, signal strength anywhere in the, in the network or in the field. So that's the main requirement. Again, in communication engineering, a main requirement that we need to cover maximum area, minimum amount of material, excellent signal strength. Let's see how Allah God Almighty from this sign in the number 19 teaches us how to accomplish this task. So, as I said, since Allah arranged the energy producing elements 
like uh, photons in a hex or uh, the uh, the motors in skeletal muscles in a hexagonal design. So the answer is straightforward from the Quran. We need to place the towers in a hexagonal design. Again, since Allah placed energy producing elements in light and in what he created, for example, our muscles in a hexagonal design. So the answer is straightforward. We need to place any energy producing elements like towers, like uh, um, light bulbs, light, like any energy source, we need to arrange them in hexagonal design. So to illustrate this and to prove this, I, I did some computer simulations and as you can see on the screen, on the left, I arranged a model for the mobile transmission towers in a hexagonal pattern, meaning that every three towers, they are arranged in, in a equilateral triangle. So that's the, the, um, the picture on the left. Now I wanted to compare the performance of arranging uh, these towers in hexagonal design compared to arranging them in a square design like the one you see on the right. Here we have the towers arranged in a square arrangement. So I wanted to see the, the co comparison between the performance of both networks. So here are the computer uh, results. As you can see on the left, here we have uh, the energy field produced from these towers. And in the computer, the red color means the highest energy, and the, the blue color means the lowest energy. So you see that in the hexagonal arrangement, we have a very strong signal in the field, in the field of the towers. And as you can see on the right, the one compared to the square arrangement, we have a weaker signal because we have the yellow color dominating the, the field. Whereas in the hexagonal one shown on the left, we have the orange color which, which has a higher energy dominating the field. So as you can see, glory be to Allah God Almighty, Placing the towers in a hexagonal design gives us uh, an excellent signal strength as we learn from the Quran and the sign number 19. And here we have uh, the energy profile, meaning that if we take a line from the left to the right in the energy field and we look how energy um, changes in this field, that's the one shown on the left. On the right we have the same kind of path but for the square arrangement. You can see that the maximum energy in the hexagonal design reaches 500, while in the square design it reaches 390. So the big difference between 500 and 390. So this shows the superiority of the hexagonal design in arranging energy producing elements compared to the square design, other, other kind of uh, configurations. So we can see, brothers and sisters, how Allah the Almighty teaches us the answer from the Quran in a matter of minutes because Allah wants the believers, the Muslims, to be the teacher of others and not the one on the receiving end but because the majority of Muslims, they deserted the Quran they don't care about the Quran anymore and that's the reason they find themselves in, a, in the humiliated and disgraced state they find themselves into and no wonder that people after so many years of research and trial error approach they found that the best way to arrange mobile transmission towers is to place them in a hexagonal cell so as you can see the screen this is the current technology for placing these towers after years of research they, fi they finally figured out that to place them in hexagonal design and this answer Allah gives us in the Quran in a matter of minutes and so we can see here that as we learn from the sign of the number 19, Allah teaches us to arrange the energy producing elements in a hexagonal cell, hexagonal pattern as the one you can see on the screen. And to know more details about this topic, please visit my website at www.quran-miracle.com and you can email me at zquran at gmail.com and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all.